A black man shot so many times, he was unrecognizable. His face was blown off, you know, mouth, teeth, tongue. It was all over a minor traffic stop. Deputies in Los Angeles thought that he was armed, but he wasn't. They shot him 17 times. Frederick Holder's family is now applying pressure after shocking new information was just revealed about the officers in this case. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Twenty-eight-year-old Frederick Holder was a handyman in the Los Angeles area, a man that supported his family, including a newborn baby. But all of that changed the morning of June 23rd, 2021, when police say they noticed that the tailgate of a box truck that he was driving in was open. They also noticed that he was driving erratically, allegedly. But his family says that that never should have prompted police to shoot him over and over again. This was around 9.50 a.m. The first dispatch came in from an LAPD helicopter operator. Monitoring a uh, box truck initially came out of the Reckless in uh, Southwest Division. And uh, it's currently got the tailgate down on the vehicle. He wanted the L.A. County Sheriff's Department to assist in stopping the truck. What's the vehicle wanted for? Initially came out as a Reckless driver. Uh, currently not wanted for anything at the moment, ma'am, but it does have the tailgate down, possibly creating a hazard for us. Uh, vehicle driving behind it. We can only show you the dash camera video because none of the responding officers had their body cameras on as is required by department policy. Deputies say that they made an initial stop, surrounded the truck, but Frederick Holder refused to get out and drove away. A short chase ensued, but a short time later, Holder was forced into a complete stop at a red light. You can see one officer approach with a rifle. One officer approached him from the passenger side and two more approached him from the driver's side. It's hard to make out, but a sister, Haley Holder, says from that point, it didn't take long for officers to fire their weapons. The box truck then rolls forward before slamming into a road sign. I just imagine what his last moment was. He was there alone, dying and nobody was trying to save him. The deputies have been identified as Christopher Conger, Javier Fierros, and Jackie Rojas, all of which are still active members of the LA County Sheriff's Department. On the paperwork, it says that he allegedly pointed something at them, which ended up being a lighter. This is the butane lighter that investigators reference that they say had a handle and a barrel that was configured in an L shape, like a gun. And that's why they fired the shots. They fired 33 shots total. 17 struck him. His face was blown off, you know, mouth, teeth, tongue. The family authorized the shade room to share these autopsy photos. We're blurring them heavily, but they show chunks of Holder's face and body missing. Was he calling for us? Was he calling for my mom? You know, how scared was he? He was there all alone, bleeding out to death, basically. All because officers didn't follow protocol. Frederick Holder! Frederick Holder! It's why the Holder family and supporters have been holding rallies and marching for months, urging the district attorney, George Gascon, to file criminal charges against the deputies involved. The bottom line is the overwhelming majority of, of law enforcement officer involved shootings across the nation, the overwhelming majority are legal and justified. But this is what the family says that they were up against. Pushback from the former sheriff, Alex Villanueva, who refused to meet with them, even called them fools during a community forum event back in February 2022. The fools at the start of this meeting yelling because they're not listening to anybody. Do it respectfully. We've been asking for meetings with you on why my brother was shot 33 times in his face okay. and his body. No. But the family says a number of policies were broken, including the deputy's failure to wear body-worn cameras. We dug deeper, and it's all spelled out here. It says that, quote, department personnel shall activate body-worn cameras prior to initiating any enforcement or investigative contact involving a member of the public, which includes vehicular stops. Policy also says that, quote, a vehicle pursuit should not be initiated or continued once it has been determined that the driver of a vehicle is refusing or failing to yield. Deputies' firearms also should not be discharged at a stationary or 
or moving vehicle, the occupants of a vehicle, or the tires of a vehicle unless a person in the vehicle is eminently threatening a department member or another person present with deadly force by means other than the moving vehicle. He was in a box truck. Did he rent that box truck? Was he working? He could have very well been working. My brother did do various jobs. He, you know, wasn't at a set job, so he just did little jobs here and there. Why do you think your brother um, fled? He was scared. Um, in the video, you can't really see what the officers were doing, you know? So in my eyes, he could have very well been scared. They could have had guns drawn at the first initial stop and it scared him. Fast forward to now, another major blow to the Holder family. They met with the DA's office early December 2022, who decided not to file charges in this case. They basically told us that the officers were not going to be charged. Um, they said the shooting was justifiable based off the evidence and videos. They're saying my brother's shooting was justifiable based off the officer's words and I don't think that that's fair because they can say anything and get away with it. Sylvester Annie Jr. is a community activist working with the Holder family to get justice. He says that a civil case is not off the table. After the chase, Fred stopped for a full minute at the stoplight. If he wanted to continue running, he could have went over the divider. He could have kept going. He stopped. Those officers need to be off the street for one, all of them, because they're a danger to somebody else's family. We need to get back out in the streets, and we, but we also need support for the family. Investigators later revealed that the box truck that Frederick Holder was driving was stolen, although the family says there's no clear evidence of that. They also say it took police over a week to inform them of his death. Now, we've requested the full DA report and findings in this case. We're still waiting to hear back, but the family says they need your help and they need you now. They say that you can do so by following them on their official page on Instagram. It's at Justice for Fred H. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.